Now, like most people, I spent all of Tuesday night wondering what the Clinton Lewinsky scandal must have been like from a woman's perspective. And luckily for us, there's an amazing TV show that does just that. It's called American Crime Story Impeachment. We're obsessed with it here at the show. We're now up to four episodes, and there's a lot to cover. So let's get into it. Now, this episode is special because Monica's infamous, infamous stained blue dress makes an appearance for the first time. I wore it the last time I saw Bill. Is that so gross, right? How did that even get on there? What do you mean, how did it get on there? <laughs> I think... Well, look, since Linda has no idea, let's see if Monica knows. I didn't even notice. I mean, no one did. I went out to dinner that night with friends. <laughs> when I got back home, I changed, and I uh, assumed it was guacamole. Guacamole? <laughs> Gua I mean, hummus, maybe, but guacamole? <laughs> Now, this stained dress actually stirred up a lot of controversy online. Some people think it's a blue dress with a white stain. Some people think it's a black dress with a gold stain. And no one really knows, really. Now, Monica and Linda start to get really close in this episode. She even opens up to Linda about her past relationships. Here she is talking about her ex-boyfriend. He had these incredible blue eyes and he was so smart. He, um, he played me the original cast recording of Les Mis in his car. Blue eyes, smart, his definition of flirting is explaining the plot of Broadway musicals in a car. Hang on, did I date Monica Lewinsky in the 90s? <laughs> now, like all Ryan Murphy shows, this series has an all-star cast, or at least I think it does, as we mostly just see the back of everyone's heads. Back of head, back of head. <laughs> Back of head, two back of heads, back of head, 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 two back of heads, back of head, guacamole, back of head. Now, this week, we also got introduced to Matt Drudge, the mastermind behind the popular news and gossip website Drudge Report, played by the brilliant Billy Eichner. Here he is here, leaving work. Hang on, can we look at that again? Look at that! That's the building we're broadcasting from right now. <laughs> Can you believe it? Guys, we did it. We're finally on TV. <laughs> By the way, it's weird to see Billy on a street and not doing this. Who are you? I'm Billy Eichner. And is this like TV or? Yeah, this is like television, yeah. Oh, okay. So are you an internet thing? Uh, no, it's actually a TV thing and an internet thing. I don't like your attitude. Okay, I don't like yours. I'm on TV. Who, who gives a <laughs> about you, bitch? <laughs> now, one of the ways that Matt would find classified information for his internet newsletter was by moonlighting as a manager at the CBS studio gift shop and digging through the office dumpster after his shift. I mean, Matt's lucky he wasn't working at CBS today because if he were, all he'd find in that dustbin is Reggie's empty salad boxes, pairs of my old spanks, and rejection letters to Nick Bernstein from various podcasts in Malaysia. <laughs> Matt Drudge is a deep and enigmatic char character full of drama, and in fact, he's so dramatic that even when he sends an email, he has to put on a fedora. <laughs> That reminds me, actually, I've... I've got to cancel my dinner plans tonight. <laughs> we'll be right back with Tyra 